This video is going to show you the trick to balancing combustion reactions because they are a little bit difficult. This reaction that you're looking at here is the combustion of butane. So if you've ever used a butane lighter for like a grill or something, that liquid in the lighter, that's butane. This is the formula for butane. And nothing will burn without oxygen. Somehow, somewhere, there's got to be oxygen present. And those two reactants come together and the only products that are supposed to form are carbon dioxide gas and water vapor. So if we want to balance this reaction, I'm going to list carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen underneath the arrow and start out with four carbons, ten hydrogens, and two oxygens. And then this side is always one, two, three. The oxygens are kind of dangerous, like you're going to probably mess up there if you mess up anywhere because oxygen is in this compound and in this one. So anytime you make a change here, let's say you put a two here, you can't just say, oh, that makes four. No, you have to remember this guy over here. So if we notice, nothing is balanced to begin with. And the order that is suggested for balancing equations is Minho, where first we would look for any metals. We don't have any metals. Then we would look for polyatomic ions. We don't have any of those. Then we would look for nonmetals besides hydrogen or oxygen. Carbon fits that bill. So if we have four reactant carbons and we need four product carbons, then we have to put a four in front of carbon dioxide, and that's going to change this to four, but it's also going to distribute over here to the O2, making that eight, but wait, don't forget this one over here. So a girl in first period who shall remain nameless did this super cool thing where she said four times two and she put a little eight up there so she could keep track of it. Wow, you can hardly see that eight, but it's there. So that was eight plus one, nine oxygens. We fixed our non-metal, now it's time to fix the hydrogen. If we have ten, on the reactant side and we need 10 over here, then we have to put a 5 coefficient in front of water. That's going to give us 5 times 2, 10 hydrogens. It's also going to distribute over here to the oxygens, giving us 5, but wait, don't forget these 8 over here. So that makes 13. And at this point, you're like, woohoo, I am down to the oxygen, I'm ready to balance it. Oh crud, I'm never going to get 13 counting by twos. And you're right, but this is where we do the bend the spoon in the matrix thing and say, what if I can break the rules? What if I can put something other than a whole number right here? What could I do so that this would be a 13? What you could do is you could put a six and a half. If you put six and a half, that's 13. Perfect, but illegal. So what we have to do now, which I'll do in a different color, <coughs> is we have to say we're going to take this entire reaction and then to get rid of this fraction, since it's a half, I'm going to double it. So if I double everything, this used to be an invisible one. It's now going to be a coefficient of two. This was six and a half. I'm going to double it. It's now 13. This was a 4, double it, make it 8. This was a 5, double it to make it 10. If you can't see that because it's all nasty and sloppy, I'm going to rewrite it. The coefficient on the butane is 2. The coefficient on the oxygen is 13. The coefficient on carbon dioxide is 8. And the coefficient on water is 10. So the coefficients go 2, 13, 8, 10. We have one odd number. Everything else is even because we had taken it and doubled it. The way you can do these is fix the carbon, fix the hydrogen, odd number, that's when we do the bend the matrix trick and then double everything to eliminate the fraction.